Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu salam ala Rasulillah. Regarding nutmeg, the spice or additive that's used in cooking, sometimes sprinkled on lattes, uh, we get a question, is it halal or haram? Tayyib, what is it? Nutmeg, in Arabic, it's called juza tib. What's it, what, what is it? It's something that's been used by people since the ancient Egyptian times. It's been used for some medicinal purposes, also as a spice in cooking and so on. But if you really research it, it is a narcotic. It is designated as a narcotic. Uh, you can look up reports that have been done about uh, it causing people to hallucinate and definitely intoxicates people. So in fact, it's a narcotic. Islamically, when we look at uh, an issue, we go back to the Quran, we look at the Sahih Hadith, and then uh, a verdict comes forward. This is not something that يعني, I, I'm sitting around, I've come up with my own opinion on. I looked this issue up in the classic books of Islamic fiqh and all of the well-known madahib, including the Hanafi madhab as Ibn Abidin has discussed this in his Hashia regarding Juz al nutmeg particularly, he compared it to hashish, yani that which clearly intoxicates and considered it to be haram. Amongst the Malikiya, Hattab, not to be confused with Hattab, but Hattab al-Maliki and Ibn Daqiq al-Eid and others have clearly said this is haram. Amongst the Shawafi'ah, for example, Imam al nabawi and Ibn Hajr al-Haythami. Ibn Hajr al-Haythami went into great detail about it and explained its nature and its intoxicating effect and why it's haram. Amongst the Hanabala, Shaykh al-Islam, Taqiyuddin ibn Taymiyyah, and uh, Zarkashi and others have discussed it and labeled it to be haram. Tell you, what is the dalil? What is the proof that this is haram? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us, as reported by Ibn Umar radiallahu anhumah and recorded in Sahih al-Muslim, that kullu muskarin khamar wa kullu muskarin haram. Everything that intoxicates is khamar, is under the tiring of khamar, and every intoxicant is haram. A clear hadith. Now, based on this hadith, the ulama of this ummah have said it is haram. Some people may say, well, we just take a little bit of it and it's not going to intoxicate you. That may be true, but it's still haram. Why? Because of the hadith in the Sunan of Ibn Majah, it's a Sahih hadith, where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us, ما أسكر كثيره فقليله حرام. طيب, whatever intoxicates in big amounts, small amounts is haram. So based on that, even if you take a little bit of nutmeg and you sprinkle on your food, even if it's not going to intoxicate you, shari'an, that is haram and it's najis because khamar is najis and Rasulullah SAW told us that every muskir, everything that intoxicates come under the tidings of khamar and it's haram to take because Rasulullah SAW told us that whatever intoxicates in big amounts it's haram even in small amounts even if it doesn't intoxicate you and there is a great hikmah uh, in the sharia behind this and those things like alcohol, if somebody says, well, if I just put a little bit of alcohol for cooking, it's not going to intoxicate me, and so what? If we open up that door, it, it opens up a great door of fitna. Because what happens then is, for example, in an Islamic community, somebody has alcohol, you cannot condemn them. Because you can say, oh, I'm just using a little bit for cooking, I'm not drinking it, and so on. And it opens up that temptation. If you have this kind of intoxicant, and this happened, I mean, you can look this up in news, people that have the actual nutmeg, uh, other people have gone to their kitchens and, and used it and, and intoxicated themselves with it, and many times they've had to be admitted into ER and so on. So the Sharia bans us from all of this. Everything that is intoxicant, that which intoxicates, should not be in your kitchen. Khalas. Yani. So nutmeg, juzat al is haram, using it in big amounts or small amounts. The only exception some ulama have given is if it's an ingredient as a part of a mixture and it's a very small amount. Yani in Saudi for example, they said less than 20% in a mixture that's already mixed. Not that you take it in raw and then make it into a mix. No. But if you get something and it has an ingredient that's a small amount and it's physically impossible for it to intoxicate you in big amounts, then it would not be haram in small amounts. But to use it purely by itself, even in small amounts, is haram. So the best thing, stay away from nutmeg, juz al tib no need to get into this. You don't want to take those chances. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Jazakumullahu khairan.